Okay, what, hmm. okay, what I got going on here is a live spectrum analyzer going to the, on the left side of the laptop is a Lime SDR software device, software defined radio. There's an Arduino Uno, Arduino Uno version 3, release 3, with the CNC Shield version 3, with DRV8825 modules, two NEMA 17s, 84 ounce inch lifting capacity, a direct TV satellite dish, LMB, triple LMB, which has KA low, which is 8. 18.3 gigahertz to 18.8 gigahertz. Then it has KU band, which is 12.2 to 12.7 gigahertz. And then it has KA high, which is 19.7 to 20.2 gigahertz. But right now I got the other ports, the side ports blocked off on the LMB. I don't think you can see it. And it's only using the KU band, which is 12.2 to 12.7. And it puts it, it down converts it to the, the, the L band which is around 1 gigahertz to 2 gigahertz, somewhere in that area. But this signal is at 10, 15 megahertz, which is 1,000, 1.015 gigahertz. Um, and I'm just going to have it sweep left and right. And you'll see whenever this program's got a 30 megahertz of spectrum, you can check out a time live. So you're going to see it. Here, I'm going to start it. It's just going to go left and right. I got one that goes up, down, left, right. I'll show that too in here. But let's just do the left, right. And I'll mark the the spot on the the, the, the laptop. It'll show, there goes a little bit. You can see some things going on, maybe. I'll get on the way back. I'll zoom into the laptop area. But you can see, like, there, Ooh, there's a strong one, strong one. Two satellites right there for sure. You see it. And it, it, it's staying pretty accurate. I don't have no uh, limit switches yet. I'll be getting some, but right now, I, I just want it to go up a little bit and do a sweep left, and then up a little bit, sweep right, up a little bit, sweep left, up a little bit, sweep right, and then log those, there's another side like this, another one, boom, boom, that's the same one, a little bit there, this is in the 12.2 gigahertz area, it's pretty accurate, it's pretty nice, I mean, I wanted to, to do satellite, there's a whole bunch, there's three right there, four, five, four, five satellite, that's picking up, I mean, if I, if I, st here, I'll do this step here, I'll do the other program, and I'll let this one in, Hit blink. And I'm gonna pull up uh, left or up? No. Yeah, up, right, down, left. Up, right, down, left. I resize this. That's right there. It's over here. Here we go. Up, down, left, right. And this should go up to the 55 degree mark. I think I got 35 degrees at the bottom, 55 degree up top. That can go up to. Oh my gosh. That, my phone just fell. I think I can get it back on there. Hang on one second. Oh god, my room is so dirty. No, I'll just hold it. How about that? I'll manually hold it. You know, it goes, actually I'll just stay here too. And you can see the, what I've got over here for a, a spectrum. Right out, it's toggling, or it's sweeping. And the motors hold up pretty good, they're accurate. I got a belt down there, a washer. Up here, this one handles up and down, it's got a few. You know, we can see what I got going on. The transformer's just a weight. Power and server. 
Okay, now what? It's, it's going to drop down. It works pretty good. No slipping. It seems to repeat. But it's only I've, I've only been controlling GRBL, or the, the motors with GRBL, but the commands that are, you know, like. There's Blink. Blink's right there. I use that to shut everything off. Here it comes. And you're going to see this. Watch that screen. It's very sensitive. It's on the. Here they come. Boom, boom. A little bit. Still, there's some more coming up. Right there. Right there is a little bit. A little bit. And these are just at the bottom, I think, 35 degree level. Now I'm going to use Blink to shut it off, because that's how I shut it off. And that's it. Nothing to tie together. I'd like to be able to tie the output of that signal strength to do tracking. Once I lock on a signal, I'd like it to be able to track it. Like if I could lock on to the moon signal or the hydrogen line or the sun, I'd like it to be able to move around to figure out the strongest area and track it. I don't know if anybody's got any software or knows anything about that, but that'd be great if you could help me out. Thank you.